Hey, how's it going everybody? This is going to be a tutorial for Back Against the Wall by Cage the Elephant. Um, there's going to be about five chords. It's going to be in standard tuning. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first chord we're going to need here for the verse is going to be a G sharp. So it's an F shaped bar chord. So think of if you make an F shaped bar chord, slide that shape down to where you're barring the fourth fret. That's a G sharp. The second chord is going to be an F sharp. So it's the same chord shape. We're just sliding up to where we're barring the second fret instead of the fourth fret. It's an F sharp. Um, the third chord is going to be an F sharp again, but we're going to play it in a different way. So we're going to slide down here to where we're on. We're barring the seventh and ninth frets. So we're making a, a B shaped bar chord. So we're barring the seventh fret, um, starting at the fifth string down to the fourth, third, second, and first string, and then um, on the ninth fret we're barring the 4th, um, 3rd, and 2nd string. It's an F sharp, but it's a different way to play it. Um, then from there, we're going to go to a C sharp, which is the same chord shape. We're just sliding it up to where we're on the 4th and 6th frets now instead of the 7th and 9th. So this is a F sharp. Slide up to where we're on, we're barring, making the same chord shape on the 4th and 6th frets. It's a C sharp. And then the final chord we're going to need, I think for pretty much the whole song, is going to be a B. Same chord shape, we're just now barring the uh, second and fourth frets, okay? All right, so let's review these chords. The first chord is a G sharp. F shape bar chord, barring the fourth fret. Second chord, F sharp. It's a F shape bar chord, barring the second fret. Third chord is another F sharp, but we're playing it in a different way. We're making a B shaped bar chord, and we are on the seventh and ninth frets. F sharp. The fourth chord is a C sharp, same chord shape as a B, um, but we are on the fourth and sixth frets. And the final chord is actually a B chord, second and fourth frets, barring. Okay. Alright, so let's talk about how they're actually playing these. So, um, one way to play it would be just to strum once on every chord, but that's not the way they're doing it. Um, they're actually plucking the note to get that chime sound. So, for the G sharp, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pluck the bass note, which is on the sixth string and the second and third string simultaneously. Okay, so I use my first and second finger to pluck the second and third string and my thumb to pluck the bass note on the sixth string. You do that all at once. Okay, so it's just one sound. And then we go to the F sharp. We do the same thing, plucking sixth string and second and third string. And then we go to the special F sharp, which is on the seventh and ninth frets, making a B shaped bar chord. And we're plucking the fifth string because the fifth string is now the root note. So fifth string and second and third string simultaneously. And then we go to the C sharp and we pluck the 5th string, 2nd and 3rd string simultaneously. Then we go to the B and we pluck the 5th string, 2nd and 3rd string simultaneously. Okay, one more time. G sharp, pluck 6th string, 2nd and 3rd string. F sharp, plucking 6th string and 2nd and 3rd string. F sharp special, 5th string, 2nd and 3rd string. C sharp, 5th string, 2nd and 3rd string. B, 5th string, 2nd and 3rd string. Alright, so let's add some words to this. Tonight I'll have a look and try to find my face again. Buried beneath this house, my spirit cries and dies again. Out back a monster wears a cloak of Persian leather. Behind the TV screen, I've fallen through my knees. Yeah, you got me where you can and again. Okay, so now we move to the bridge. Uh, the first chord is going to be a G sharp. Second chord is going to be a B. Third chord, C sharp. Fourth chord, G sharp again. Fifth chord, F sharp. Sixth chord, C sharp. So these are all chords that we saw in the verse, they're just in a different order. Okay? 
Um, so the strumming that we're going to use, we're not going to be doing that chime plucking anymore. We're going to now be doing a, a down strumming, just all down strums. Okay, so just. Okay. Okay, so if we put words with it, it'll sound like this. I said you got me where you want me again and I can't turn away. I'm hanging by a thread and I'm feeling like a fool. I'm stuck here in between the shadows of my yesterday. I want to get away. I need to get away. And then you go back to uh, the chiming um, for the verse. So you go back to the... Um, there will be a couple courses at the end of the song. Um, so the chorus chords are going to be G sharp, to F sharp, to B, to C sharp. All right, and that, that pattern keeps repeating. It repeats about five times. So one more time, it's G sharp, to F sharp, to B, C sharp and then back to G sharp to start the pattern over again okay um, and again on this we're just still doing down strumming okay so now if we want to play through this chorus with words it'll sound like this now you know yeah you got my back against the wall oh gosh ain't got no other place to hide chain down like a sitting duck just waiting for So um, just review all those parts that we talked about, and I think uh, you'll be able to play the whole song. All right. Thanks a lot. Uh, talk to you later. See you.